Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Fanatical Side Rider. Today I'm changing the oil on my CF Moto C Force 500, and I'm also going to change the rear and the back diff oils. And I'm going to just show you as I go. I'm not going to, this isn't going to be a long video where I show you each and every step. I've already pulled down the drain plug from the engine so that the motor can drain out. That's pretty easy. You just, yeah, you just go underneath with a 17 millimeter socket, undo that drain bolt, let the oil drain. And then I'll just show you different parts of while I'm doing the rear and the front diff, just so you know what to do. You don't have to see every single move that I make. So anyways, I'm going to show you what I did here. So I took an eight millimeter socket right here. And I'm undoing these three bolts here to get at the oil filter. And I'm going to take this cap off. Anyways, I put a paper towel here and a rag so that the oil doesn't drain all over the place on my running board. And then we're going to put the new filter in. There's an O-ring there as well. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. It's not a big deal changing your own oil. I mean, you can go to the dealer and get them to service your ATV or side-by-side, -side, but kind of handy you can do it yourself it's not like the big hard job or at all just take your time do things right so we'll pull this cap off and hopefully not too oh that's a lot of oil it's a good thing i put that rag here as well but it's getting full anyways we'll pull our filter out and there's a black o-ring there Holy smokes, that's a lot of oil. Looks like I'll have to clean up a mess anyway. Maybe I'll get more paper towel, but this black O-ring, you're going to need that as well, because I'm not replacing it every time. I'll reuse this one. The filter is going to get changed. Okay, so I got an old glove here and a paper towel. I'm just going to clean out this dirty oil out of here. Just clean it up a little bit. Good enough. Now I'll take this black O-ring. Clean off the dirty oil off of it too. So what I have here is a oil filter for the Seaforce 500 that I got on Amazon. And I'll leave a link below in the description where you can get this. And it covers many, many CF Moto machines and other brands too. Um, basically, a lot of them are all the same size. So just look at their list and see if it matches your ATV. And uh, yeah, it, it'll likely be all right. Just an ordinary oil filter, same size as your other one. So just take it and put it in place. And it pushes and squeezes up on a, a nub in there. I cleaned my O-ring, put it on top of the cap here. Get the bolts out of here. And then we're just going to put this into place. Make sure your O-ring doesn't slip on you like this one just did. Because I wasn't really paying attention. So yeah, there you go. Got that in place. And then put your bolts in, three of them. Hold on to your cap because it'll let go and your O-ring will slip. And then just tighten them up. Uh, I forget what the torque specification is, but just don't over crank them. That's all. I mean, you can just snug them up. It's not like they're gonna back out. And uh, yeah, just snug them up, but don't over crank them because then you'll snap a bolt. And then you got a whole other world of problems. I remember when I was working at GM, I started there when I was 19. And uh, that's when I saw a lot of crazy stuff, but guys would over torque things. See, just snug them up. Bolts would break, you know, that sort of stuff. But yeah, I started there when I was 19 years old in GM on the assembly line and uh, did lots of uh, different kinds of jobs through the years worked there 32 and a half years and you know what it was a darn good job it was a good place to work and uh, really grateful for it I left when I was 52 years old and now I'm 58 and it was the best thing I ever did because I'm really enjoying life now to the fullest and doing other things. I make, I uh, have a business online and I, that I enjoy doing. I have two YouTube channels, so that's two incomes there. This one's not as big as the other one, but this is a, not really a good high earner, but 
I get to work with different brands and stuff. Sometimes that's fun and lucrative, but I also do other work. But anyways, let's get back to the old change. Now we're going to top up with some uh, CF Moto oil here. So I'm just using this little funnel here with a tube. My other funnel I'm using, uh, I'm also changing oil on my snowblower, so I probably should have just waited till I, my funnel was done over there draining oil into my snowblower. Because this little funnel isn't really desirable for this kind of work. My God, it's going to take forever with this thing. But anyways, I started in GM in the truck plant in 1985. Back when we were building them old square body Chevy GMC pickups. It was amazing. But uh, like it's amazing looking back now. I didn't, you know, didn't realize what we had at the time. I loved old trucks anyway. And I loved, I mean, I loved trucks anyway. And, but can you imagine though? Like, I mean, if we would have just bought one truck, put it away in a nice warm environment, like, a garage and that how valuable that truck would be right now would have been amazing and then I moved on to other positions after that uh, I think I got laid off there after a couple years and for retooling which you get paid when you're laid off for retooling so or get paid anyway right get unemployment and a thing called sub sub pay so you make almost like maybe 75 to 80% of your wages. So being laid off for four months was awesome. <laughs> but uh, I mean, and then I started, I think I went to body shop after that. And uh, in the car plant, you know, building doors, fenders, uh, uh, putting them on the cars before they're even painted or primed. So yeah, that was pretty interesting times. Anyways, I'll finish filling this up and uh, we'll move on to the front and rear diffs. Okay, we'll check our oil now. You don't have to screw in your dipstick, just stick it in there. So we're about right here. I don't know if you can see that, I'm about right here. If I was to screw it in, it would be right to here. And I'll tell you exactly, well, pretty much how much oil I used. So I used two and just two and a half liters. Let's just say between 400 and 500 milliliters here. That's in metric, so imperial. I think your jugs are the same size as this. They call it something different. So two and a half, let's say two and a half for the Seaforce 500 ATV. So now that that's done, you just go ahead and put your cover on. All right, guys, now we're gonna attempt the front diff and the rear diff. We'll change the oils and those. You should change those often. I mean, you're going through Water. If you go through a lot of water and you're in mud water, I mean, I go in all temperatures. Yeah, I ride all year long. Hot water, just in case water gets into your diffs. Should change them, I'd say, I don't know, twice a year, every six months kind of thing, if you're in a lot of water. If you're just riding on dirt trails all the time, you don't have to do it as often. Okay, we're going to take out the drain plug on the front diff first. You can see it right there. It's a 5 16 hex. Put your drain pan underneath and let it drain out. Then I'll probably do the front at the same time. Let them both drain together. So I thought I had the camera running. There's the front diff oil draining into the pan. So anyways, I'll go take the plug out of the back diff. I just changed the oil on my snowblower as well. And before I did that, also today, I changed the oil on my Kia. So been a busy day here in the garage, but getting lots done and it feels good. So the drain plug, there's a hole in the skid plate and the drain, if you put your uh, socket, your extension up in there, you should land right on the bolt. Same size bolt as the front. There we go. That was snug. Slide the pan underneath. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, it looks like it's going to pour out nicely. Not on top of the drain uh, skid plate. All right, I'll clean this up. And then we'll uh, put our drain plugs back in and then we'll put some fluid back in the diffs. So on the rear diff here, this is the fill plug here. This is the bolt you gotta back out so you can fill it. On the front, it's a hex bolt. This one here, it's just an ordinary uh, 14 millimeter socket. Okay, 
I'm going to try something different. I'm just going to put my funnel here on this clear tube, put some diff oil in here and just let it gravity pull it in. I'm going to be using the CF Moto gearbox and differential oil. It's a 75W90. Um, I got just a bit left in here. I got enough for both ends, but usually I'll use a pump that you can put. Uh, I got a video on it when I changed the diff oil on my uh, Z Force 950. So what you do is you buy this little pump and you hook it up to your uh, whatever Makita or not Makita to Walt or your Milwaukee gun and you just zzz, zzz, spin it a couple times and the pump draws the oil from here right into your diff it's fast but I heard that these fill up really fast so I didn't really want to try I'm just going to try with uh, gravity we'll see how it goes it's probably going to be messy so we'll just put a little bit in here see what happens there it goes. It's going in. I'm going to try another strategy here. So I'm just going to run my hose this way down into here and then hook up my funnel here. And then I'm going to pour my funnel on this side of the frame here just to make it easier on myself. Only thing is, I can't see how much I'm pouring in. And I don't want to overdo it. Because I really don't know how much it takes. Well, if I look what's in here, it's not much diff oil. I got a feeling I already have enough. I'm going to have a quick look, see how it looks. No, I don't have enough in there because it would come, be coming out of here. So we'll try it again. See a little, yeah, I think we're full now. It's hard to tell because you don't know if the tube is just in a certain way. The fill tube. We'll just put a drop more to find out. Make sure our tube's in as far as I can push it. I think we're full. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go do the front. And if we see another drop here when we get back, like another stream, we know that that rear diff is full. So we'll go add some diff oil to the front. Okay, here we are in the front. And like I said, it's a hex socket and I backed out the bolt and that hole there for that diff is smaller than the rear one. Luckily, I had some plastic, clear plastic hose here that goes, it fits into there. And then I had a smaller tip here, um, funnel. The hose fits on the inside, not the outside. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. <laughs> it may just pour out uh, between the funnel and the hose. But luckily I got some things to try. So we'll see how it goes here first before we know if this is going to be the winning combination. This is basically what I'm doing. I'll fill all of them up and I'll put the um, bolts back in. So basically that's it. Uh, quick engine oil change rear oil change or rear diff oil change front diff oil change and I mark it down so that I know when I changed it and the date how many kilometers or miles and basically that's it just keeps uh, keep it maintained there is a couple of grease fittings on the C Force 500 so just keep an eye on those as well hit those every once in a while with your grease gun and keep it maintained it'll keep working good for you thanks for hanging out in the garage with me today and uh, we'll see you on the next video